I'm taking this all-wheel drive electric scooter and mounting a jet engine on the back just like that. Because even though this thing is ridiculously fast the way it sits, I am genuinely curious to see how crazy and insane this scooter feels under jet power. It looks pretty sick. I've ridden a lot of scooters. They're pretty weak compared to this. This thing is an absolute beast. All-wheel drive, all-terrain tires, hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear, keypad lock. Once I rode it, I was like, man, this thing is so much fun. <laughs> Two-wheel drive, look at this thing go up. Well, that was a struggle, but I made it up that climb. That was like a 40 degree. That's how steep that was in about a 50 foot climb. I put this thing in two-wheel drive and uh, zero start mode, which means it applies power from a stop. Up I went. This thing even helped me climb. That was pretty cool. Wow, this is gonna be great. Fits so perfect, it clicks right in. Here's where I'm at. I'm all done mounting the jet engine. Came out much better than I thought it would. This was a lot of design and fabrication work and I'm not done yet. I still have to design and fabricate the fuel tanks, hook up the fuel system, all the electronics, and then fire it up. This is the tubing that I'm gonna be using for the fuel tanks. It's three inch schedule 40 aluminum pipe. Scooter's all done. I think it came out pretty good. Everything's finished. I made the tanks. All the electronics are hooked up. It's uh, pretty much ready to go. The only thing I'm gonna do later is 3D print an enclosure for all the electronics and the throttle cable. I also added a DC to DC converter to take the voltage from the onboard battery and knock it down to a voltage that can be used to control the jet engine and all the electronics. So the only thing left to do is take it out, hit the road, see how it drives, and see how fast I can get it up to before I get scared. I just arrived at my first test location. I chose this sort of suburban ghetto neighborhood, if you will. I think it'll be a good ride. And I'm not really sure what to expect. This turbine has a lot of power and I've never ridden a jet powered scooter before. I was gonna bring my helmet, but of course I forgot it. I do have my gloves though. Let's see what happens.
shaky. A little shaky. Legit. Oh, just ran out of fuel right now. Oh, that was great. So I got up to like, man, this thing's just, uh, it's too fast. Like the brakes feel good, but they're kind of grabby. Whew, man, it's a lot of fun, that's for sure. And it's, it's a weird sensation. It feels smoother than electric. It just feels like somebody's pushing you like a cushion, like on a cloud, and you're just going faster and faster. I didn't even feel like I was going 62. Then once I see how fast the trees are passing me, I realize I'm going fast. I really had to lower my center of gravity to make those turns at that speed because man, it felt like I felt like the scooter wanted to go that way. And uh, definitely won't be trying this in go-kart mode with this jet engine. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head to that straightaway and see what kind of top speed I can get. And if you're wondering why I'm yelling, it's cause, oh man, there it goes, right there. Hearing protection. Oh, now I can hear better. That's next, let's go. I'm here at my second location, which is a two mile long straightaway, really smooth. There's a couple of bumps here and there. I did stop in between and pick up my helmet. I'm just gonna start off on one end here, start the scooter up and just see how fast I can get either hitting the top speed or hitting a speed fast enough or I feel that it's unsafe. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Let's do it. And for this run, I'm gonna be running hydro diesel. I'm gonna leave links in the description below to this fuel as well as the scooter because uh, everybody asked me about this fuel that I use. I really like it because it burns super clean. There's no black smoke like the regular diesel. Even in the engine, it just smells cleaner. like the scooter is limiting it to about 62 or 63 and then it's uh, applying some sort of regen braking or something I'm gonna try it one more time uh, with the scooter off and see what happens I just don't have a GPS or anything with me to track the speed but I'm just gonna feel it and see if it feels a little bit faster with the scooter off but I won't have a reading for the uh, for the speedometer so try it one more time
scooter without the uh, scooter powered on. That was pretty fun. Unfortunately, I couldn't measure the speed because I had no GPS and I couldn't fly the drone. It was just too windy, but it was definitely faster without the scooter on. For sure, there's some regen going on with the scooter because the first time when I would hit the brakes, it would kind of pulsate. And then once I turned the scooter off and did this run right now, and you hit the brakes, it was super smooth. It looks like the brakes are hydraulic and there's also some sort of little cable there. Maybe that goes to some sort of pressure sensor, I'm not really sure, but that makes sense. I guess that's tied into the regenerative braking and uh, yeah, that looks like it was holding back my top speed in the previous run. And I got it up to as fast as I felt safe because the front wheel started doing this like death wobble. I felt if I did any faster, I would wipe out for sure. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you enjoyed the jet powered scooter. I build most of these projects, not because I like building jet powered scooters, but to inspire everybody to get up and do something with yourself, learn some skills, build stuff and have fun. So let me know what you want the next project to be. I'm probably going to do some slow motion videos or something like that next and then jump into another build and this scooter here for anybody wondering is a Fido beast and this thing was an absolute beast what a champ of a scooter i mean this thing was amazing not only did everything fit perfectly on the scooter but i use this scooter all the time to go get groceries run errands and uh, i'm going to continue to use it after i take the jet engines off i couldn't recommend a better scooter so i'm going to leave a link in the description below as well as a discount code to this and uh, again this is an on-road off-road scooter all-wheel drive selectable this brakes front and rear obviously i found out in this test here that it does in fact have regenerative braking because like i said when i turned the scooter off it became super super smooth and i couldn't feel any regen felt completely different that's pretty good to know i was wondering if it had regen or not now i know it does so i'll leave a link in the description below for anybody that's interested in this or just wants to take a look Again, this is the Fido Beast. And one thing I did want to mention is that that hydro diesel, it was pretty interesting. Did you see the difference in the way the engine started from the jet fuel in the first test to the hydro diesel in this test? It didn't smell like diesel and it didn't smell like jet fuel. It smelled a little sweet. It seemed to make a little bit more power than the uh, jet fuel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.